Yeah. All right, Eddie, here with uh, the man himself, Eddie Hearn. You know, Eddie gave a wealth of interviews today, so yeah. try and not hold you up too long. Uh, main event tomorrow mm -hmm. night would be Boo Boo Andre. Mm -hmm. Do you want him to not just win, but but get a knockout? Being that he, he is fighting a guy who's never fought someone his caliber. Yeah, I mean you'd think that, but then you look at the size of Kelton Dokwa, and I know his team, and I know what it means to him. And but this guy's here on merit. Now, whatever you think, he's number two in the world with a WBO. So we had no choice. And as as Demetrius says, if he would have beaten Andre uh, Saunders, he would have had to fight this guy anyway. So that's really the pressure for Andre in this fight is that he's gone from a fight where everyone's saying it's 50-50 to mm -hmm. he should win and he needs to win well you know ultimately he just needs to win but if he can do it well and if he can impress and if he can leave people saying he's one of the best middleweights in the world then it's big for him you know and he joins now a club on the zone with Canelo and hopefully Danny Jacobs next week as well where we could have all the belts tied up so it's a massive night for Andre, you know, looking to become a three-time, two-weight world champion. Not many people have done that, you know, and uh, he's a special fighter. But, he, you know, he's going to have to come through some, some rough moments tomorrow night. And, and I ask you, too, uh, be, perhaps unfairly, got fighters like Andre sometimes get slapped with mm. the not-a-crowd-pleasing yeah. style kind of label. As a promoter, does that matter to you? How much, how much does it matter to uh, you? I think when you get to the elite end, you know, if you're capable of beating guys like Canelo and Golovkin, which I believe Demetrius is, you know, Mayweather was not the most exciting. He was one of the most highest paid athletes in the history of, of sport. Right. But I don't believe Demetrius is a boring fighter. Mm -hmm. I believe if he's in with that kind of style, sometimes it can not be that entertaining. But, you know, ultimately he's technically excellent. But yeah, you always need to entertain. This is the entertainment business. And as he's fighting better opponents, you know, you'll see him perform and, and you know, if he can put in a great performance tomorrow night, it's going to set him on his way. And let's say, let's say Jacobs does the business next Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, Demetrius wins his fight. Is that fight going to happen in 2019, you yeah, think? Yeah, I think that both guys would want Canelo. Um, but there's a great unification fight there between two excellent fighters. So you know, first things first, let's get them over the line, get that belt around their waist, and then it sets up just a brilliant 2019 for both guys. And not just that, but you, you would think... Canelo and Oscar, they have their way. They say, you guys fight each other to yeah, decide yeah, yeah, who yeah, gets maybe, a shot, maybe, right? Maybe, you know? Yeah, if that's what they've got to do, that's what they've got to do. But right. you know, all being under the same platform, it'd be very easy to make those kind of fights. So we'll see what Canelo decides to do. But like I said, the most important is hopefully we can add two middleweight world champions to the roster in the next eight days.